In Swift, exists an attribute called hash available that helps us to identify the platform we are running. For example, what is inside of the if will be executed only under iOS 15 and above, and in the else case, from iOS 14 and lower versions. The argument with asterisk is always required at the end and indicates that on any other platforms that is not iOS, the code will be executed on the minimum deployment target selected in your project. In fact, you can check more than just one platform at the same time. This is the full list of platforms supported by this attribute. This is great. But there is a little problem. What will happen if we only want to check the else condition? I mean, when iOS 15 and higher is not available because we are running an older version. In Swift 5.5 and earlier, the only option was by doing a workaround with an empty if and just filling the else case. This works, but looks like a hack and definitely not good enough for Swift guidelines. Some people try to fix that using a guard statement instead. However, still not super readable, and even worse, the legacy code looks like an error path and not part of the whole flow. Definitely, neither of those approaches are good. Some people could try to invert the condition. However, this won't work either, because available is not a statement capable to support Boolean operators. Fortunately, Swift 5.6 introduces the contrary condition, hash unavailable. Unavailable is literally the opposite condition, checking when we are not running a specific platform version or higher. By the way, the accepted parameters for hash unavailable are the same like hash available. This attribute will make our code more readable when we only care that condition. If you want to learn more about Swift, check out the links in the description below. My name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. Thanks for watching and have a great day.